Poly Boys soccer team was looking to stay unbeaten on the season, taking on Valley View in a key Inland Valley League showdown. I'm Pep Fernandez, and this is the HS Game Time Roundup. We'll have highlights of the Eagles and Bears in just a moment, but first we start the show inside the gym at North High School, where the Huskies were hosting the Rancho Verde. You're listening to The Real Pep at HS Game Time Sports at Riverside Press. Remember that, The Real Pep, the voice of Riverside. You know it's a big game when there's two peps in the house. And NBA player Malcolm Lee, the former North Husky, watching the game. He plays for the Minnesota Timberwolves now, and he's recovering from a knee injury. Marcus Ball will play football at The Ohio State next year, but tonight he's hooping it up with the Huskies. Second quarter, Norris to Kimbe Martin drives in, lays it up, and then it's Ball with a nice feed over the top to Adrian Hughes. Hughes with 11 points. North up 28-23 at the half. Third quarter, the Mustangs work the ball around to Kendall Gosley. Fires the triple, nails it. Straight cash, homie. I guess that's what you do if you don't have a wallet. It works. Fourth quarter, it's Dorian Butler to Boss slicing to the rack. Huskies up 41 to 40, but that's when the Rancho Verde gets hot from the outside. Trey Nottingham lets it fly from three-point land. Trey with the tray. Then it's Jalen Hall from downtown. Drains it. The Rancho Verde goes up 48 to 45 when Nottingham comes up with the steal and he will finish. North in desperate need of a big basket late in the game. Butler buries the triple to get north within one, but the Mustangs hang on. Lance Jones, the hoop and the harm. The Rancho Verde wins on the road at north, 55 to 52. In the Southwestern League, Great Oak taking on Murrieta Valley. The Nighthawks have won league four of the last five years, including two in a row. The Wolfpack looking to show they're the team to beat in the Southwestern League this season. Patrick Sniff, a big reason why. How about 10 points, 17 rebounds, and nine blocks tonight against the Nighthawks. Great Oak knocks off Murrieta Valley 54 to 49. A great win by the Wolfpack to tip off league action. Coach wanted to pound it inside. We got our high low going, and that's where we got a couple points. Uh, we could have done a better job, but we, did, we ran that really effectively and it worked for us. So our height advantage came in real good. What time is it? Bad time! What time is it? Bad time! What time is it? Bad time! Bad time. Bad time. Boys soccer team looking to stay unbeaten on the season, taking on defending Inland Valley League champ Valley View. Scoreless match in the second half when Rob Morales takes the long pass, gets ahead on it, beats the keeper and the defender, and knocks it home. Slap hands. Polly up 1 0. Later, it's Brian Magano with a corner kick. Danny Gomez heads it, and he's right there for the volley. The Bears' lead grows to 2 zip. Polly tacks on one more goal with this header. The Bears remain undefeated this season, winning three nada. From the Southwestern League, the Temecula Valley girls hosting Vista Marietta. First half, Nicole Robertson feeds Darla Guajardo to give the Lady Golden Bears the 1-0 advantage. Second half, same score, Rachel Witz with a cross. Robertson plays the dummy, lets the ball run to Beckett Cartmill for the score. Temecula Valley wins 2-0, your final. Rewind to Tuesday night, Santiago hosting Norco in Big 8 action. U.S. national team member Amber Munnerlin is on the end of this great long pass. She's fouled in the penalty box. Munnerlin will take the PK. The goalkeeper picks the correct side, but Munnerlin slips it through for the score as Santiago wins to nada. I'm Pep Fernandez with the HS Game Time Roundup.